Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. This is the Drock battery meter. Its input voltage range is 5 to 90 volts. It'll read anywhere from 0 to 300 volts, and it has an amp range up to 200 amps. The instruction book that comes with this little meter is not all that clear, so I just want to really quickly go through the settings and get this set up to a battery and show you a load being pulled from this so you can set up your own meter for yourself. Taking a tour around this unit, it's got a button up top with a square and a button down below with a triangle. It has the LCD screen here. If you flip over to the back, it has three different wires coming out here. I have actually combined the uh, yellow and the red, which is the voltage input and the power positive. And those just go to a single wire here, and that goes to your positive terminal. And then next, I've just got a single wire for the negative. And then lastly, on the back of this unit, you've got the amp reader. Now, there is a tiny, hard to see triangle right here pointing in this direction. So I made an arrow to kind of give a better idea of where it's going. And I also wrote BAT on this side, which is for battery. So this is going to face the battery. This arrow is going to face the load. All right, let's go ahead and hook this up to a battery so we can see the settings. For this load, I've got an inverter. So let's go ahead and get the negative installed. I'm gonna place this here, and then the uh, negative wire on my drock. I'm gonna go ahead and just set in here and get that tightened down. And I'll have the amp reader that came with the drock. So I wanna make sure that the battery that I wrote here is facing the battery and that the arrow is pointing towards the load. I've got a resistor, so I don't have that big spark. Just charge up the capacitors inside of my inverter slowly. Go ahead and get this screw put in. And then the power to my drock I'm gonna put in here. Let's take a look at the display here. Up top, you've got a battery meter, the amps being consumed, the watts being used, the amp hours, the battery voltage, and the overtime used watt hours or kilowatt hours right here. Now you notice that it says 200 amp hours up here. My battery is only 100 amp hours. So let's go into the settings and change this real quick. First, I'm gonna reset everything. I'm gonna hold down the triangle button for two seconds two or three seconds. Okay, and I'm also going to hold down the square button for a couple of seconds. Now everything is reset. Now the backlight turned off. I can push the triangle once to turn that back on. Now to get into the settings, I'm going to push the square button. So here is your amp hours, your full charge voltage, your high voltage alarm, your low voltage alarm, and lastly, the high amp alarm. So we wanna change the 200 amp hours to 100 amp hours. So I'm gonna wait for this to blink to get over to the two. And now I can press this triangle button until the display says 100. Holding the square button for about three seconds until the display blinks and that will save my setting. Now you'll notice up here it says 200 amp hours still. I have to unplug the battery to reset this meter. And now you can see 100 amp hours instead of 200. To show a load here, I'm gonna turn on this inverter. And I'm also going to plug up this small heater and turn that on. Let me zoom in so you can see what's happening. You can see the battery meter has dropped down. It's got 99.5 amp hours, 46.5 amps blinking because of our amperage alarm. Batteries at 12.9, 603 watts, seven watt hours. So you can see that this meter is working properly. Now, if we don't want it to blink like this, we can press our square button to get over to the high amps alarm and we can change this when it gets over here to something like 50. And 
we can hold down the square. When that blinks, hopefully we'll see this number stop blinking because it is under 50. And that's the basic setup and use of the Drock battery meter. The thing that got me when I first started using this is that you have to hold down that square button until it blinks to save the settings. And the next thing that got me is that you have to, um, if your battery is fully charged, then you unplug and plug it back up to the power and it will show the amp hours as per the display. So uh, keep that in mind. You wanna make sure this battery is fully charged when you do that reset. All right, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.